Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Mobile Gestures Dynasty here on College Football 25. I'm your host, Cosmic Trash. Let's get right into it. Today we face off against the Mississippi State. Um, I haven't played this in a while, so let me go to see who we face off. We finish, we're finishing the year off today. We're playing Mississippi State, who is the 17th team in the country, and then we have Clemson next. Um, so, I think this is, no, this is on national, no. I, I can't tell what the broadcast means. <clears throat> but, this is an SEC game, huge for the standings for the SEC uh, championship, because I don't think we have won one yet for the SEC title. We are the second team in the SEC. Alabama is finally good. That's hilarious. The Alabama just hasn't been good, but nonetheless, let's get into this one. And we will go in Mobile Gray against Mississippi State. While I'm uh, recording this, I'm also watching I'm, uh, watching the Clemson-Georgia game. It's a college football kickoff. I'm having a real college football uh, day today. But nonetheless, here we go in the rain in Mobile. Kyrie Allen looking, finds Angel Bulaga. Bulaga! Look at Bulaga go. Angel Bulaga, I've been playing a lot of Madden, so it feels a little different right now. Um, Allen... Rifles it to Fasano. Fasano. James Fasano will get it. Kyrie Allen, of course, the second in Heisman ranking right now. He's unbelievable. Like, he's actually generational. This is insane. Worry low. Look at that. Dude, he's just easy touchdowns. And Cordo Worry low easily comes in and scores. Okay, can you let me get the ball? All right, second quarter. Scores fourteen to three right now. Allen looking, rifling deep. It's Jay Turpin and it's incomplete. That was a bad throw by me. Finds Jay Turpin. Turpin, Turpin breaking tackles and he's brought down. Kyrie Allen into the end zone. Touchdown, Jesters. We're trying to three-peat. We're trying to be the best dynasty in college football history. We haven't, um, we haven't lost, or we haven't really skipped a beat since losing most of our starters last year and some award winners with guys like David Cunningham and Brendan Lutman. The greatest college football tight end of all time. And we get sacked. And we also lost guys like Freedom Smith as well. But Kyrie Allen, the give. Cordo Worry Low. Worry Low. Look at Cordo Worry Low go. He's brought down. We're punting. We're booting it. Good shit. Okay, right now, it looks like we're killing them, right? It's 28-14. Kyrie Allen to take the snap. Wow, Turpin just doesn't know how to play football. That was not what I wanted to do. Finds Jay Turpin. Turpin brought down stiff arming. 
Come on. Oh my god, incomplete. Kyrie Allen finds Knox. Touchdown, Mobile Jesters. Incredible. Come on, boys. And Butts will jump on it. Oh my goodness. Kyrie Allen. Looking. Fires. It's Fasano. Fasano brought down. Touchdown, Chesters again. Unbelievable. Forty-nine thirty-five. We always do good at scoring. Um, it's wow. He threw five touchdowns to five different receivers. That's kind of wild. Five tutties to five receivers. Unbelievable. Come on, boys. We got one more game left. Let's see if we get any recruits in week 13. We're in 2029. We have built Mobile into a powerhouse that's in the SEC. We get a four-star right guard in Kyrie Myers, a four-star center in Eduardo Bunting, a receiver in Wade Rutnick, who's also a four-star. So we, we're signing a lot of players that are going to be good for us. Um... I can upgrade still. Okay, what do we got upgrading? Um, dude, I have so much. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, receiver, tight end, ratings boost. That's actually pretty good. This is wild. I am the best coach in college football, easily. Now we got to recruit. Absolutely have to recruit. Right now, I'm wondering what top classes we're at. We're at 13. Nine four-star recruits will do that to you, dude. Right now, three stars are equivalent to two for us, and four stars are equivalent to three for us. 
if that ma if that makes any sense. What else we got? Is there any uh, ooh, a four star halfback that has us in there? Might as well go after him. I must have already put him there. Let's do open, and then let's do five stars. Are there any open five stars? No. Yeah, no, there's open three stars, and that's it. Um, we, are not, we don't have a need at quarterback. We have a need at fullback. What else do we have needs at? End is a need, definitely. Lee Smoot is a hilarious name. Okay, so Lee Smoot, let's look at him. 68 speed. But I think he has potential for the next level. Potential, but not like, I'm not positive if he's going to be good. Uh, he can block enough. Brett Burks. We'll throw 65 on him. Let me see. Is, do we already scout this guy, Rashad Traylor? He's not actually that good. I'm just going to throw some at McCaffrey. We have enough alignment as it is. Might as well just offer Chuck Wall. Fifty on him. Might as well give him fifty, and then each of them ten. Give each of them sixty. That's what we will do. Yep. Yeah, so that is who we have added to the recruiting board this week. Right now we have twelve commits, and they're all four star. Or, and there's only two two players that aren't at least a four star. Here we go. We got Clemson and Mobile. This is going to be a good one. It won't. We should be able to beat this team. It would be kind of annoying if we lose to this team, honestly. Purple Rain Helmet. We're going to Death Valley in Clemson. Remember, we added Clemson to the SEC. Um, honestly, the way they walk out looks so fucking sick. Like, this is actually wild how cool they look. It's senior day in Clemson. Here we go. Howard's Rock. Fuck Howard. I don't know who it was, but fuck him. Oh my god, their crowd is wild. I can't even, like, hear anything at all. Finds Bulaga. Bulaga. Beast of a man. Thank you, Angel Bulaga. Uh, we're officially, I'm going to try and make, I'm def, we're definitely tight end you. I'll say that. Definitely tight end you right now. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, my God. Not if I make throws like that. Kyrie pushes him out of bounds. Nicholas Kindred gets injured on that play. And then they fumble immediately and we get the ball back at the one. That is hilarious. Cordo, get in. Okay, well, it didn't matter. We made a play. We did enough to get to Clemson. Third and six. Oh, number zero at their quarterback is wild. Look at that. 
We get to the QB, force him to get rid of it. Love to see it. Dalvin Hart, and he gets a first down, really? I guess. Come on. Third and seven now for Clemson. Oh, wow. Wow, he tried to catch it with one hand. You got to use both hands. That's just college football error right there. You suck. Do you try to catch it with one hand? Fourth and 13. Fuck the, fuck the kicker, bro. What, do you know who this team is? Apparently I don't because they just stopped it immediately. Seven to three now. Come on. Wow. We sack him. Incredible. It's Sean McCleskey. Absolute animal of a player. Makes a play there. Kyrie Allen. Drops back. Finds James Fasano. Fasano. He's brought down. Kyrie's injured a little bit with his leg. Don't love that. Looking. Fires. It's Trask. Trask. Unbelievable. No, nah, that was disgusting. Are you kidding me? Pointing ice in his veins. Trask with a touchdown for the gestures. Incredible. Kyrie Allen with an NFL throw there, but they immediately go and tie it up. Jay Turpin with the catch there. Fasano, deep. James Fasano. He's going to take it to the Casa. Touchdown, Mobile Jesters. Unbelievable. Kyrie Allen. Looking. Fasano. Fourth and two. Didn't get the first. Clemson's playing us pretty good. Finds Kevin Hurley wide open. Love to see it. Fasano with the play there. Good fucking shit, James Fasano. Touchdown, Jay Turpin. Third and four now, it's 28-13. And look at LaFell, oh my god. Dude, we're finding everybody open. Absolutely cooking Clemson right now. We're 10-1. and one. You could argue we're the best team in college football. I think three is kind of disrespectful considering we won back-to-back -back national championships. It's a little wild. I'm not going to hold. Kyrie Allen. The fake. Fires. Incomplete. Broken up by Clemson. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Michigan. I get they're 11-0. Ohio State, I guess. I mean, we're 
10 and 1. We're probably better than Ohio State. I don't know about Michigan. Michigan's nasty. But Kyrie Allen to take the snap. We're going in. If we go into Death Valley and beat Clemson, like, we're that team. Fasano. Fasano makes a man miss and he's getting a first down. James Fasano. And there's Cordell Worrylow. Worrylow pushing forward down to the one. He has 81 yards today. He's actually in the running for best for like best running back. I looked, I checked, he's like top ten. Which I'm surprised about because usually our running game isn't our strength. But Cordell Worrylow will jump in again. Touchdown. Jesters. Hey man. That's why I always recruit athletic quarterbacks. Even if I recruit more than I need, I can move them to other positions. I mean, look what we got with Kevin Hurley and Cordell Worrylow. Two quarterbacks that came in and moved positions when they joined us. And now both of them have been contributors. More Worrylow than Hurley. But Hurley is still a really good slot guy that we have used for years. Give to Turpin. Turpin. Turpin gets into the end zone. Touchdown gestures. Wide open. Incredible. Forty two twenty one, this game is over. Clemson's QB's cool. But like I mean, do you know who we are? Cause I do. We're the best team in college football. We walk in to Clemson and destroy the Clemson Tigers. Um Kyrie Allen's racking up some interceptions now. Two he's had like five interceptions the past few games, but He's still doing his thing. And 164 yards from Cordell Worrylow with three touchdowns on the ground. He played incredible today. Two touchdowns to Turpin, one to Fasano. I can't really tell you who the best receiver on our team is. I'd probably say it's... I I think Fasano's best after the catch, 100%. But Turpin is just so good at getting open. But I think James Fasano is also really good. And then Andrew Bulag is a great tight end, but he's not he's no Brandon Lutman, but he's been really good as a like been really good as a fill in brain Brandon Lutman replacement type thing. Uh, but he's gonna be our tight end for a while. But we're gonna advance the week. See if we get any more commits. We do, we get a five star receiver, Sateki Lotarelli. From Arvada, Cal uh, Arvada, Colorado. Melvin Miles locks us out. You can go kill yourself, bro. No one likes you. Uh, wow. Sean McCleskey, SEC Defensive Player of the Week. A sack, four, TF four tackles, and three TFLs. I mean, that's a good, good game. And in the SEC Championship, we got Alabama. Wow. Next week, we will be competing for our first SEC title game. Wow, that's wild. Miles, you can... I mean, like, you're cool. I'm just going to go to open again. Three stars. Three stars. And a kicker. Yeah, so this is what you do. Just build your board throughout the year. Look at that. So I'm going to add five, Chuck Wall. It's pretty good. I'll throw 65 on him. But Jeremiah Glenn and I, he's the best kicker in the country. 89 and 75 is really good, so I'm going to... You don't get that a lot. I'll... Throw him an offer. Anyone else that doesn't have 65? I'll offer McNeil right now. So we'll advance a week. Carl Poindexter from Sabrina, Florida. 
Steven Sizer from Hoover, Hoover, Alabama. And we go down on Cordell Sharp. That's interesting. Still second on Chuck Wall. Yeah, we're first on everybody. Carl Poindexter. And yeah, we got Bama this week. That'll be the next episode, definitely. Um, we're going to go 65 on McNeil. We've already signed 18 players, or not 18 players. Signed a lot of players already. Here he is. Sateki Lutielli, though, he is the sixth receiver in the country. He just looks like a fucking G. 98 jumping, short hands. Number one player in Colorado. Uh, absolute animal. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a problem. Prospect list. I'm going to see. Is there any? Deshaun Bender. And then I can see if Dwayne Abbott's also good. Not as good. How good is Deshaun Bender? Ooh, a gem. That's nice. Let's add someone to the board that's on open and just offer them. Okay, Ameka and but I don't know how to pronounce his name at all. And I'll search social media. Look at that. Twenty seven targets right now. We have enough for him. Like this is a fucking loaded class that we have signed. Arguably the best class in our history. Say so he's number two. Pettigrew is the number one player in the nation, so I'm going to put him at number one no matter what. Like, it's not even a question. But getting Sateki Lutielli is awesome. Uh, but with all that being said, we're going to see you guys in the next one after we play. Um, we're going to see you guys in the next one where we will take on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, Peace.